Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I had a chance to talk to you guys. It's been crazy at work. I'm sorry if you had to wait too long. So what I did is I jam-packed a whole bunch of stuff because all through my mind, all week long, there's just been ideas floating around inside my head and that can sometimes be dangerous. But uh, just a couple of things. We'll do some updates and then we'll talk about our, our main subject. Uh, first two updates is uh, that this I found out and this, uh, these are my wife's uh, favorite knives that uh, that I have. And so I just wanted to uh, show that off that she has a spectacular taste. Uh, we have the Case Mini Trapper in the uh, smooth orange Delrin. And then again, the uh, Blue Ichthys uh, Stockman uh just absolutely gorgeous uh, examples of Delrin and, and great examples of uh, Case's workmanship on these. So I just wanted to uh, point that out there. And then uh, I know Cracky is missing, William, uh, and the beauty side is good. But just so you know, I have Cracky's cousin. I didn't drop it. Uh, if you noticed in the other episode, the other uh, place where I showed this uh, little single uh, screwdriver tool, uh, it was already cracked. So it, it, I think it came that way. I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, just, just to let you know that, uh, cracked knives matter. And, uh, and there you go. This one is, uh, definitely in that category. Uh, fortunately for me, it is not, uh, its whereabouts are known unlike cracky. And I hope cracky gets found soon because, uh, Cracky has a, a cousin out here. I just wanted you to to feel comforted in that, uh, William. And speaking of William, uh, William pulled the trigger and he got himself one of these uh, fine Roper knives, which uh, I still absolutely love. And that's another update is uh, some favorite work knives, ones that have really gone, you know, really above and beyond as far as delighting me at work. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, you should definitely check out William's opinions on it. I have a video in my library, uh, but yes, we are trying to make sure that uh, Roper Knives get on the map with all the other uh, YouTubers. And this is a great one, like we've said, for the uh, hybrid crowd with a pocket clip. And the fact it has a thumb stud, one-handed opening, it's a liner lock, uh, carbon steel blades, uh, 1065 carbon. Uh, just a really great knife and they're around $20. So very affordable and uh, something that uh, if you pick it up, let me know if you get one of these, let me know your opinions on it because I have a very high opinion of mine. Uh, so I just want to make sure that, that everybody else gets theirs, that, that, you know, they like it and that it's something that they enjoy. Uh, but one of the things I was going to bring up, uh, here's another work knife is this uh, Gerber straight lace. I'm gonna tell you, this knife has just been great. I really think if you are in a place where locking blades aren't allowed, uh, and this one, I believe it's just under uh, three inches uh, here. Yeah, right at, right below uh, three inches for a cutting edge. Uh, if you're in a country where they make a big deal about locking knives and, and you have to have a length restriction, uh, this is just a fine, fine knife. I don't know uh, any place it wouldn't be allowed. It is a slip joint. There is no lock. Uh, it's just a very handy knife. The blade shape is wonderful. It's just a really good work knife. I've had absolutely no uh, issues with it at all. And it's one that to tell you the truth, I kind of wasn't sure if I would have picked this out on my own. It was a gift from my brother-in-law. And I'm just so glad that he got it for me because this has really turned into a really great knife. You know, so I think that's it for the updates. Uh, now we're going to talk about the meat of the matter, which is the muskrat. This is the High Plains uh, series from Rough Rider. I really love how they did the bone. It's really beautiful on both sides. 
and I've really come to enjoy and use the muskrat. I've had this one for a couple of weeks. Uh, I think I told Rick from uh, Warthog when I saw his muskrat that I was going to test out mine, and I really uh, do like this a lot. Mine only, and, and this is only on my sample, or the only sample I have, so let me know if this is true. You can see the the nail nick is really buried in this one. Now, I can get in there and, and get it, uh, but it's kind of kind of hard you know the one side's real easy uh but what you have here is let me get this down here is you have uh two blades that are exactly the same and these are really great blades uh for me i like these uh skinny kind of clip points uh you know no matter how you pick it up no matter which way you handle it you basically have you know a, a mirror image on each side. It's got a little serpentine uh, shape in the body, in the frame, which I really appreciate. It makes it easy to use in hand. Uh, I really enjoy using it. And you can see here, you can choke up on your kick. You have lots of control. You know, it's got a really good spring. You know, I mean, you could push it down, but it does have uh, half stops like all Rough Riders do, or most Rough Riders do. Uh, but this is the original knife that won the West. If we go back, and that's why there's so many trappers on the table, is because I kind of wanted to go over it. Tobias has already said it in his video. If you've already seen, I'm kind of paraphrasing. I didn't go down and, you know, crib his notes. But there was a guy that uh, wrote a book, and he was a trapper, and this is the kind of knife that he carried. I don't think it was called a muskrat. I think he just called it uh, a folding knife or whatever. But when we look at something, we'll look at a traditional case trapper. Uh, it comes, you know, with the uh, the clip and, of course, the, uh, the spay blade. And the story is that case really invented this pattern or had this pattern around this large jack knife pattern. And it was... Uh, for marketing purposes and stuff, they just said, you know, hey, this is the knife that won the West. This is what the trappers carried and all this stuff. And it kind of came out of the 1930s uh, to sell more knives. And of course, a lot of people have been buying them. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with a trapper. And we've gone over trappers, you know, a couple different times on my channel. Uh, I'm a fan of the pattern. I like large jackknives. Uh, there's not really anything that you can't get done with this pattern. So, I mean, it's it's handy. I like using spade blades. They have their purposes for stuff. Some people don't like them at all. And that's what turns them off on the pattern. But then we have other uh, single bladed examples like this uh, Case Slimline Trapper, which gives you just the clip point. And it actually gives it in a much smaller uh, package, which we've compared uh, these guys before. So you have a slightly longer frame, uh, but it's definitely not as thick and it's not as tall. So, you know, it rides very comfortably in pocket. Uh, your knife blades are also smaller because you can see the slim line has a, uh, a slimmer blade profile. So that's more similar in profile to this uh, muskrat. So if we look there, you know, looks pretty darn close. Not exact. Uh, this is more of a uh, trailing clip, I think, or you know, if you even wanted to say it was a Turkish uh, or California type clip, uh, which I didn't think I brought a, one of those out here with me. I don't have a, a copperhead handy. But, you know, we talk about marketing, and that's why I brought out some of these other uh, knives. Uh, the old timer was just another uh, one, but see this boker here is got the uh, little thumb stud on it, which uh, it will open. It has a liner lock also, but this is another single bladed trapper. You know, and why do they call it a, why do they call it a trapper? You know, I mean, a lot of times things are called things because of marketing. I had uh, someone say, 
how in the world could they call this a uh, trapper? Well, it kind of fits. It does have a clip point and it does have a spade blade. Other than that, uh, no, it's a, it's a bow trapper. Uh, definitely something that the marketing department is going to say, this is what it's called, or this is what it's not called. Uh, same thing with this uh, bow trapper. You know, the other, they have these in uh, black and red, which uh, they do have the uh, the red or black underlier, underliners, uh, depending on which one you get as the, the main color. But, you know, again, very handy knives. They fit in your hand well. Uh, you can do a lot of good work with them. Uh, nothing wrong with them, but they call them a trapper, and so that's what they're called. So we'll just say, okay, it's a trapper, you know, <laughs> and I don't have any kind of good reason for that or anything at all to uh, to refute that. But, you know, we're talking about marketing. Uh, this was the trapper that I had engraved uh, for my channel, you know, uh, again, from More Maker, uh, just your standard trapper with the uh, standard blades. And this is a fine knife. I enjoy using it and I like it a lot. And it, uh, it means something more to me than maybe some people, uh, because I, I make a kind of maybe too much of a big deal about liking Texas, uh, which, uh, you know, Hey, it's got a lot of good stuff going for it. It's got some stuff that's not so great. It just depends on whether you like that stuff or not. Uh, but I'm a fan, <laughs> but then again, who knows, but I do have a surprise for you here at the end. If you've lasted this long, uh, I just got this little guy in today, and it is a Roper Stockman uh, with a green bone handle. And look at that! Look at that green. That's like a like a hunter green. Uh, definitely one you don't want to drop in the in the forest. Ten sixty five carbon blades. You know, so you have your your main uh, clip blade here, and then you have your sheep foot. And then your spay on the other side. Again, 1065 carbon steel, around uh, 20 bucks. Uh, look at that, look at that beautiful bone. I just, uh, I don't know how they do it uh, for that kind of, uh, that kind of money, but uh, they do it and they do it well. It's something that uh, definitely I like. If you look at your, fit and finish on the back there's a little bit of gapping on this end in the back springs but you know nothing to write home about this is darn near perfect this is just perfection and that's why i'm a fan of roper knives uh the quality is very high your fit and finish is very good the blades are carbon steel and uh the price is right you're not going to uh you know be out a whole lot of money. You can buy a couple of these for the uh, amount of money you're going to spend on a case. And I think you'll be just as happy or happier than uh, if you had bought something else. So another thing I wanted to talk about with the uh, muskrat is the muskrat's not very much bigger than this uh, uh, stockman. And if we go here and we get our mini trapper you can see it's on the three and a half inch frame same thing as with this uh pecos trapper from uh roper you know they're right out that three and a half inch thing so it's a perfect uh pocket dropper you know uh that was also why i had this uh out with the uh other trappers was to compare uh size you can see your trapper is longer so this guy definitely rides better in the pocket when i have this in a slip i don't even realize that it's there it's just you know i really really enjoy it uh these are cool knives they really are this is my first muskrat well actually it's not i take it back it's my second because i do have the uh rough rider reserve uh 005 i forgot to bring it out here uh to the garage my you know, palatial studio that I have here for the RJ Knives channel. Uh, anyways, it uh, that would be the, the second one, but the, this is the first time I've actually gone and used 
the other one I'm kind of keeping as a reserve knife to kind of keep it nice and in better condition than a, than a uh, user knife. Although I said I was going to use it in the uh, review I did of it, and, and I may do that. I may just go ahead and do that and throw it in a slip and, and call it good because uh, I do like to use my knives. What can I say? Anyways, I think I've kept you guys longer than uh, normal, but that's because I've been gone pretty much all this week. I hope you enjoyed our discussion. Uh, let me know in the comments section below uh, if you have roper knives, if you don't have roper knives, if you have muskrats, if you don't have muskrats. Uh, what do you think about the muskrat versus uh, trapper uh, controversy, marketing versus history, uh, or anything? We can talk about anything. Uh, you know, just uh, let me know in the comment section below. And, and as long as it's, uh, you know, uh, a family rated discussion, we're good to go. Anyways, I will uh, talk to you guys later and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.